Hi everyone! This week for Second Step, we are learning about naming our feelings. So yesterday, Mary was scared when a big dog barked at her, but you reminded her to put her hands on her belly and say stop and name her feeling. So today, we're going to look at this picture I have here. This is Gabe. What do you think is happening? This is Gabe and his teacher. Another child just called Gabe some mean names and he did not like it at all. Do you think Gabe feels comfortable or uncomfortable? Right, he feels uncomfortable. If you thought the same thing, pat your head. If you think Gabe looks uncomfortable. The teacher notices Gabe's head hanging down and his frown, his mouth is pointing down. She talks to him about his feelings. She asks him if he can name how he is feeling. How do you think Gabe is feeling? He might be feeling sad, worried, maybe upset. If you had the same idea, clap your hands. Gabe says to his teacher, I feel sad. Naming the feeling helps him feel better. The teacher asks why he is feeling sad. Gabe tells her about the mean names. Telling his teacher what happened helps too. His teacher goes with him and helps him talk to the child who was calling him mean names. Pretend you were Gabe and practice calming down. So let's practice calming down together. This is our calm down poster. And the first thing we do is we put our hands on our tummy and we say, stop. Name your feelings and take belly breaths. Sometimes it can be hard to name our feelings, but talking to an adult helps, like how Gabe told his teacher. And we always know it's not nice to use mean names, right? Because it hurts other friends' feelings. Have a good day.